Welcome back to lesson 1 of Learn C++ Game Development Course on Udemy.com. In the previous lesson, we installed Visual C++ and prepared the libraries for game development. In lesson 1, which is this one, we're going to create a new project and get the screen up and running for our game. So let's start by creating a new project. I've already started Visual C++ and go to File, New, Project. This will actually be the same procedure we did in the last lesson. So let's enter a name for our project, which is going to be Game. Actually, I'm going to name it Game Udemy. It's going to be saved on the Visual Studio 2010 projects. Uh, you will probably have your default location in your documents. So, OK. It has to be an empty project. And we should see a blank page. And on the left, you have your Solution Explorer, which will look something like this. I prefer that the Solution Explorer auto hides, so you can click the auto hide button if you wish to do the same. But for now, right click on the game project, which is Game Udemy, and click Properties. Now we have to do, as last time, show the compiler where SDL is located. So go to Configuration Properties, VC++ Directories, and in the Include Directories, click on the down arrow and Edit. And you can then click New Line, so a new line pops up, and the three dots, and now we point it where SDL is located. So that's on our C drive, SDL, include. And we do the same for library directories, edit, new line, and show him to C SDL lib folder. OK that. Now we have to go to the linker settings, input, and the only change I mean, the difference from the previous project is that we're going to add OpenGL. So the libraries we're going to add or use are SDL main dot lib, SDL dot lib, and OpenGL 32 dot lib. So these are three libraries we're going to use in this lesson. OpenGL is already included with the compiler, so you don't have to worry about pointing to where it's installed. So OK that, and we also have to set the system in the linker settings to console. So set the subsystem to console, and apply, and OK. So now we have our project ready, so let's create a new file, right click on source files, add new item, and we want the cpp file, and I'm going to name it main. and it automatically opens. I'm going to auto-hide the Solution Explorer because I won't be needing it. And I'm also going to go full screen with Visual C++. You can do that by clicking View, Full Screen, or simply clicking Shift, Alt, and Enter. So now let's create, let's actually write the code to get a screen up and running. So first we have external files, which we include by simply writing them down. So we're going to need sdl.h. We're going to need a new file, which is sdl under dash opengl.h. And we're going to use iostream, which is for console input and output. So those are the three files we need. The first, the SDL main and SDL lib library is used with this file, and the SDL OpenGL, I mean the OpenGL32 lib is used in this file. Now let's create our program. Every program starts with int main, int is always the same 
don't worry about what it means just has to be like this it actually doesn't have to be it can be an empty and but it's a standard that we write that down so now we have to do is first is to initialize SDL and we already did that in the previous episode so do SDL in it and we're going to in it everything so SDL in it everything use control and space for auto completion because that can really help if you don't know the full name of the function or a variable or something like that so first we initialize SDL and now that SDL is running we want to set one parameter for OpenGL and that is we want to use double buffers I'm going to explain that in a later episode I mean in a later lesson but for now let's just set the double buffer parameter to one so we do that by typing SDL under dash GL under dash set attribute use controller space for auto completion and we, now we have to specify which attribute we want to set and set it to what we want to set SDL GL double buffer to a value of 1 now we can actually set the name of our window so we do that with SDL under dash VM under dash set caption now it has two parameters the first one is the title of the window and the second one is the icon we're not going to use the icon but let's name the window lesson one and for the icon just put in new so new is the default nothing in C++ now we have to set how big our screen is going to be so we set that with SDL set video mode and it has four parameters the width, the height, the color depth and some flags so the width of the window is going to be 640 pixels by 408 pixels the color bitrate is going to be 32 and for the flags we put SDL OpenGL because we're going to use OpenGL to handling the window and rendering and actually everything we do with rendering to the screen so our window is going to be 640 by 480 pixels that's a standard good resolution now we have to set what we want to draw on the screen and we want to draw everything so we are going to put the same dimensions in that functions but as you can see till now we have been using SDL functions some SDL like SDL init is uh, SDL only function and SDL under dash GL is a function that also includes OpenGL but from here on we are going to use OpenGL only functions and those functions start by typing GL and then the name of the function so first we have to set what we're going to display and that we do with GL viewport and here we set what we want to draw on the screen so type in 0, 0 then the width which is 640 and the height which is 480 pixels so that's basically <coughs> the screen created but we want to set some additional variables first before we actually run this and that is what the clear color of the screen is going to be and uh, we usually want that white so we set GL clear color and it takes the color in red, green, blue and alpha values each ranging from 0 to 1 so if we put 1 for red one for green, one for blue and one for alpha is going to be white so that is a white clear color for a screen the clear color, color is the color in which the screen is going to be dropped in when we 
erase it. Now because these lessons are only going to cover 2D rendering and not 3D, we have to set that too. So we do that by GL matrix mode and set it to GL projection. And every, every time we do something with the matrix, we have to do a GL load identity. So that's for setting that we will be using 2D only. And that's basically a window created and some default values put in. Now that's the start of the program. Let's write the end of the program, which we have to call SDL quit to actually free the memory and close SDL. And we also have to run, I mean, call return zero, which actually closes our program. Now in the middle, this is actually our game because at the start we set up the window do some loading at the end we close everything and in the middle is our game for this lesson we're not going to create a game loop we're going to that do that in the next lesson but because we want to see some results we're going to put the screen up clear it and show it wait for a few seconds and then close it now first we have to call GL clear and this actually uses the color we set earlier. It's going to use white. And we have to set what we want to clear. And that is the colors on the screen. GL color buffer bit. That will clear the screen and make it completely white. Then in the middle comes all the rendering, which we're going to do in lesson three. And after we rendered everything, we have to call SDL, GL, swap buffers. As I said, I'm going to explain what buffers are and why we have to set double buffer to one in the lesson where we're going to cover rendering, and that's lesson three. After we clear the screen, swap the buffers, which actually doesn't really do much now. We want to wait for a few seconds. We did that in the last episode, and that is with SDL delay. And now the number of milliseconds we're going to get. Let's put in 5,000 milliseconds, which is 5 seconds. And that's our program. So we get the screen up and running, render the screen, wait 5 seconds, and then we close the project. I mean the program. And if we press F5, that's for debug, the game is going to compile and run. And we came to the same error as last time, so it says it doesn't find SDL DLL. So we have to copy. So go to your computer, C drive, SDL, lib, and copy. I'm just going to make this bigger. Copy lib PNG. Well, we don't need PNG yet, so copy only SDL DLL and slip one DLL into where your project is located. So that will be for you and your documents, Visual Studio 2010 projects, and the game. It's called Game Udemy. So you will find that. Um, I'm just going to go where my project is located, so I have it on the Visual Studio. But for now on, it's the same as for you in your documents. So projects, the name is Game Udemy, and in there you'll find a debuff, debug folder, a Game Udemy folder, and an IPCH folder. Go to Game Udemy folder and paste those slips in here, I mean those DLLs. Here you'll also find the main CPP file. So make sure that the DLLs are in the same folder as the actual code file, which is main CPP. So now if we go back to the project, 
click F5 again, it started, clear the screen, it's now white, waits 5 seconds, and then it closes. Uh, let's just run that. As you can see, the name of the window is Lesson 1. So this is working perfectly. And that's for Lesson 1. And Lesson 2, we're going to actually create the game loop. So, and we're going to learn events. So, we're going to try to make things happen when we actually press something. So, we're on a good way. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.